Welcome to Pleasure 101 with Amber Mallory, the sexpert and pleasure activist behind Bichu and Discrets. So now I want to talk to you a little bit about erotic massage. So we're going to dive into that. My tips, my tricks, my pleasures and beyond are all going to be at your fingertips. My first tip when it comes to erotic massage is going to be to ground yourself. So what does that mean exactly? So sometimes we come in with all of our stressors of the day, we're upset with work, we had a bad day, we are just not feeling it, our backpack was too heavy, we were exercising too hard, and we just have all of this in our minds and we lay down and expect someone to be able to rub that tension out. And sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. So what I definitely recommend, especially when it comes to an erotic massage, is kind of disconnecting from that experience that you've taken home and reconnecting with your erotic self. And that can be done very easily through grounding. So grounding is just kind of centering yourself, becoming present and really reconnecting with your body instead of being so in your mind. So a great way to do that that's super easy is just to find a very quiet space, sit down, close your eyes, and take some deep breaths. So I recommend a four count deep breath. They sometimes call it a box breath. So it's four seconds in, four seconds hold, and four seconds out. By doing this, you're just going to kind of reconnect with your body, calm yourself, and just kind of let your body know that they can let go of that tension and relax. Another really great grounding technique is a body scan. So this one is kind of similar. You're going to sit in a very comfortable position. Often I tell people to sit upright and you're gonna close your eyes and kind of focus on your toes. Think about all of that sensation. Make sure you're breathing, make sure you're holding, make sure you're exhaling, and just really focus on that sensation in your feet. And then as you breathe, you bring it up from the toes to the ankles, to the calves, to the knees, you know, you work it up slowly, slowly, slowly until you get all the way to the top of your head and you just exhale all of that out. So this can take some time, but it is really a great relaxing technique that will help enhance an erotic massage. And often breathing helps circulate the blood. That's not even an often, that's a fact. It circulates blood. But the often aspect of it is often it leads to a lot of pleasure because you're circulating blood, which means it's going to pump throughout the body, including the genitals, especially if you're trying to manifest that sexual energy before a massage. So my second tip when it comes to erotic massage is to add the erotic part to the massage. So I like to start out slow and I like to use my pleasure mapping guide to help me. So pleasure mapping is just kind of knowing where your partner's erotic zones are, but also knowing how to take a maybe non-erotic zone and turning it into something erotic. And also this is a slow way to kind of introduce pleasure instead of just being like, yes, I'm going to massage your clitoris. Yes, I'm gonna touch your penis now. Because sometimes that's too much, especially after a really stressful day or sometimes we're just not there yet so we can't do that to take our time so the best way i ask people to kind of do this is the giving partner is going to eroticize um, pleasure points on someone's body so that usually starts with the crown i always like to start with the head a lot of people love a good scalp massage so take your partner start rubbing the head you know rub the hair get in there, you know, give them that crazy kind of bedroom head look. Start there, we're rubbing, we're scratching the scalp, we're massaging the back of the head, then kind of go down the neck to the shoulders, down the back. You know, you kind of see where I'm going with this. Like we're gonna take it slow. Obviously there can be points that you really focus on. Like for example, if your partner has a knot or a contracture and you wanna work that out, go for it, you know, make sure you use a good massage oil, which we're gonna talk about, and really just kind of take care of your partner. Um, but make sure that when you're touching, you're able to kind of eroticize and connect with your partner. And again, it goes back to that kind of communication with your partner. So you can have this non-verbal communication with someone where if they're doing something good, you're kind of like, oh yes, this is so nice. You can say it, you can breathe it, you know, it's a way for you to kind of get a better indicator of your partner and kind of their erotic experiences and also get pleasure from 
giving to your partner and seeing them react to how you are touching them. That is another very interesting component to erotic massage. So like I said, start at the crown or start at the feet, but I say start at a point on the body and either work up or work down. I like to work down personally because I feel like you get to hit more erogenous zones, stomach, you know, arms, fingers, wrists, all of this. You need you like to get there first before you get to the main contenders, but either way, it all works out for you. But just be mindful, listen to your partner, and definitely, definitely, definitely make sure you have warm hands. So before you give someone a massage, rub those hands together and warm them up. Then touch your partner. Not only does this create like a fun sensation, but also if you're stressed out and then your partner is touching you with their cold hands, you're just like, eee, this is too much. So warm hands, warm heart, and erotic energy. My third tip is something that I already mentioned, which is keeping it lubricated. No one wants a dry massage, you know that uh, pull. I mean, maybe someone does, but probably most don't. So with that being said, I highly recommend using a massage oil and we have several at Bichu and Discrets. So this is one of my favorites. This is from the Slow Sex Collection. It is a warming massage oil and yes, it really warms. However, the downside to this is you cannot use it in intimate areas. Another massage oil that you can use in intimate areas. So if you just wanna go from top to bottom without having to swap anything out, then definitely take our full body massage oil. But if you just kind of like wanna warm someone up, work them up, this is another great way. But one of my absolute favorite products is one of our newest in the range, and that is the Slow Sex Full Body Massage Oil. So this candle, burns at body temperature. So remember when I'm saying warm hands? This is warm hands. It's all oil-based, so it's not condom compatible, but you can use it in intimate areas. I wouldn't recommend using it as a lube, but you definitely can kind of play on the outside and get someone ready to then use for a lubricant. But this is excellent. It's very erotic, like pouring the warm oil on someone's body, blowing out the candle, like the wax kind of hardens and you have to like rub it a little bit. Very sexy, very erotic. It adds sensation. It kind of adds a little bit of like theater to the whole thing, which I love. <laughs> and then another thing I would recommend is another new product. And this is our bubble gum line has been extended with a whole massage range. It's absolutely fantastic. This bubblegum kit not only smells divine, but it has everything you need for an erotic massage. So starting with, this is our full body massage oil. So we have the slow sex line, but we also have this one. It has that gorgeous bubblegum scent and it has a little eyedropper. So that way you can intentionally place this massage oil and use it as a lubricant in very intimate areas. If you wanna place it on the anus, if you wanna place it on the vulva, if you wanna place it on the penis and massage, you can with intention without getting messy of like squirting it on your hands and then trying Trying to rub it everywhere. It's way more intentional, kind of very sexy and elegant. Um, and it also has this warming massage oil too. So it's exactly what I talked about with the other one with a warming um, sensation and this gorgeous scent. So it just kind of adds to the play and the eroticism, like adding smell can definitely influence someone's pleasure. And finally, there is a cooling lip gloss. So what I like about this is a lot of massage kind of focuses on work with your hands, but you can also do a little bit of work with your mouth. So if you have this warming massage oil on your body, on your back, on your vulva, in all these places, and then you put this cooling lip gloss on and you start to kiss down someone's body, or you start to utilize some of the power of your mouth, of your breath, this warming massage oil, if you breathe on it, it gets hotter. So you breathing and kissing and nibbling, while you're massaging, while you're touching, while you're bringing your nails down someone's back. This is so sexy, so erotic, and a great way to just kind of intensify because you're playing with sensations, it's very easy, and you're not having to go and get some sort of like expensive massage somewhere or a table or anything fancy. Like this is all in one box, boom, bam, and you have everything you need to kind of play at once, so. 
I definitely recommend checking out what we have. And don't forget to check our guide because we have so many guides offered in many different languages. So it's not just erotic massage. We have oral sex. We have anal sex. We have pleasure. There's everything in several different languages. So thank you for tuning in and definitely check out our guides.